Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what not to do and do not make this mistake. If you are shipping something and you're unsure if FedEx checkout or the United States Postal Service is gonna give you a cheaper rate. Let me explain. Okay, so I sold, and I'm sorry, I'm covering up the addresses just for obviously security purposes. I sold a television stand from a broken television. I part out televisions when I find them around the neighborhood and it sold for $55. I let them know it's gonna be FedEx ground or FedEx home delivery. Let me switch it over to the dimensions for FedEx and let me show you. So with FedEx home delivery or whatnot, FedEx makes you size out your package. I size it out downstairs, 19, 13 by nine, 19 length, 13 width and nine height with 4.6 of my weight. And I have a small scale I purchased to do that. Okay, coming back up here, the same exact television stand is gonna be $27.68 with my discount, which is actually really good, a 22% eBay discount because I do sell a lot and I believe once you're a power seller, et cetera, et cetera, they're gonna give you more discounts. So you might see this in yours, you might not. Other charges, $4.65, unfortunately, because it's a home delivery, FedEx charges for a home delivery, blah, blah, blah. $27.68, 4.6 ounces, $19.13 and nine right there. Okay, the only problem though is I'm looking at it, I'm like, that's kind of expensive. It's going to New Hampshire. This is sometimes will save you a lot of money, sometimes it potentially won't. So hopefully this video does help you and particularly for either right now or another time in the future. And I'm looking at the weight of it and I'm like 4.6 ounces. Let's go ahead and just double check United States Postal Service and let's see what's going on. Now here is the big mistake a lot of people do. Let me show you, okay? So switching over and as you're keeping the dimensions in there, we're going to switch over to United States Postal Service as we can see right there. Again, keeping everything the same like I had for FedEx, but switching over to now we're going to choose priority, package, large package, and I still have my dimensions right here, okay? 1913.9, 4.6 ounces. I don't know why the Postal Service or eBay even allows this, but this is ripping off people big time. That charge went up to $42.20 with an eBay discount of 16% at $7.80. That's $42.20. You're like, Chris, of course I would ship at FedEx. It's like half the cost or like, you know, not quite half, but you know, it's significantly cheaper. Exactly. If you keep your dimensions in here. Now let's read the fine print. This is where the United States Postal Service and eBay is goofing up, okay? Up to 70 pounds and 84 inches in combined length and girth. Girth is the distance around the thickest part of the package. Okay, that's a small box. I am way under 84 inches combined length and girth. Let me show you, there's calculators online for this. Just Google girth calculator and this will pop up right here. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and input our length right here, which was 19 by width was 13. And forgive me for not having screen capture, it's just a lot easier without having to edit all this nonsense and our length plus width is our total right there, 63. I'm well under 84 that eBay checkout gives you for your auctions. So knowing that I'm under 84 inches combined length and girth, and I'm under obviously way under 70 pounds, watch what you do here. This is the hack, okay? Change weight and dimensions. All right, then we come back over here and all this right here, this package dimensions right here, we go ahead and zero it all out or just don't even put anything. You just delete the entries and watch this and you save that and watch what happens. Boom, $20.40. Now you don't have any dimensions, you just have the total package weight. I've been doing this for years, folks, years. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't know about this and they get ripped off by eBay checkout and the United States Postal Service. I don't know who's messing this up, but it's real simple. You get 84 inches and I was way under, but they still try to charge me over double. That is not cool. 
So we need to fix that eBay. Let's get that together. Anyway, hope the video has helped you. Again, I've done this many, many times. Have not had one issue with the Postal Service sending my package back. Nothing. There's no issues because I'm within my measurements that eBay gives. And not to mention, my buyer is going to be receiving this at least two days before because it's going priority instead of the option that I chose. So they think they're going to get FedEx. I'm actually going to speed it up for them for a cheaper price for me. I'm going to save money. They're going to get it quicker. They're going to be happy. I'm going to be happy. It's a win-win, baby. And there's no issues. Even if you're going to tell them you're going to send it FedEx and you send it priority, there's no issues. Now, obviously, you don't want to say priority and then if it's cheaper for FedEx and it's like two extra days, that's not cool. That's just ethically wrong. So be careful and don't do that. But in this regards, they're going to get it quicker and I save money. It's a win-win. Again, smash that thumbs up button and please share the video with your other resellers to let them know how to save money with eBay checkout if you're determining whether you wanna go FedEx or United States Postal Service. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.